Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be showing you how I designed and built my wooden PC case. I started by cutting the top and bottom panels. This was done by printing out the sketches and using them as templates on a piece of wood. I marked the center holes and used a compass to draw my cutting lines. Drill points were punched for the spade bit. These large holes were drilled to make it easier for me to cut out the circle of my jigsaw. The cuts turned out nice, so I repeated these steps for the other holes as well as the bottom panel. Next, I worked on connecting the top and bottom panels with the front panel. I used dowels here as I did not want exposed screws to ruin the overall aesthetic. I 3D printed a jig to help me get my drill holes perpendicular. Here, I'm drilling holes for M4 threaded inserts which will be used to mount the fans. After that's done, I cut out the piece for the rear panel. The rear panel will be attached using 6 M4 countersunk screws. I did a dry fit before gluing on the front panel. To prepare for the glue up, I masked off the joint and gave the glue area a sanding with 120 grit sandpaper. This gives the glue more surface area to join the two pieces together. I use clamps and weights to apply pressure to the joints. When the glue was dry, I took off the rear panel to mark off the cutouts for the motherboard, GPU and power socket. Since it was late, I just pre-drilled the holes for the jigsaw cuts I'll do tomorrow. The other thing I prepared for tomorrow was a motherboard tray. Again, I printed out the sketch template and transferred the markings onto the plywood. I also ended up pre-screwing the M3 threaded inserts that will hold the motherboard standoffs. The following day, I went ahead and cut out the rear panel and motherboard tray. Here, I'm just adding chamfers to the slot for the PCIe extension cables with a small file.
Back to submodeling. This is the power supply bracket design I came up with. It uses captive nuts to secure it to the motherboard tray. I printed the parts on my ANAT A8. There will be two parts printed for the GPU. The top bracket is for mounting the screw that secures the GPU, and the bottom bracket will be for the GPU slots. The bottom bracket also uses captive nuts to secure it to the rear panel. I use the soldering iron to melt the nuts in its place. The top GPU mount will just be screwed into more M3 threaded inserts. I reassembled the panels to keep the case ascending with 220 grit sandpaper. I use a file to transfer the fan openings. Next, I made the feet that will elevate the bottom panel for proper ventilation. Since all the major components were done, I decided to stain the case. The motherboard tray was glued to the back panel with an additional support piece. The front of the tray will slide into this slot bracket screwed into the front panel. I printed off four fan grills with a Voronoi web pattern. I glued nylon mesh under the grills to provide some dust filtration. Ten mil holes were drilled for the magnets that will be attached to the glass side panels. A screw is inserted into these holes for the magnets to attach. I adjusted the screws so that the magnets would protrude the case by about one millimeter. Then, I applied silicone glue to each of them before placing down the tinted glass. Finally, a 16mm hole was drilled in the front for the power button.
So that's pretty much it. Here are some B-roll shots I took of the completed case. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the build process of my ITX case. If you did, maybe leave a like and go check out the next video where I build the actual PC in the case. Thanks for watching.